Folks, don't try this at home. The boys are trying to move a hive full of honeybees. Uh, but it looks like one of them found a hole in Spencer's bee-proof suit. Are they getting you? Uh, uh, I can't freaking get to it. Uh, I had one gap in my whole bee suit. Sure enough, a bee found it, flew up my arm, came through, and stung me in the belly. Yeah, I'll punch you in the stomach if you need me to. No, man, I got it. Uh, I just had to smash it. Uh, I've about had enough bee getting, brother. Well, let's cap these holes off so they can't escape, and let's get out of here, man. Did you see the queen? She's going to be bigger than all the rest of them. Without the queen, the bees will not embrace a new hive. It's absolutely critical that we get the queen. They didn't get all the bees, but if they got the queen, they should be able to resettle the critters in their new home. But if we come back at dawn when they're not out foraging for nectar, we'll be able to get a dominant majority of this whole hive. Hey, I think I see one that's bigger than all the rest of them. See that one right there between the stick and the pipe? The filter pipe, she's crawling right on there. It's, it's a big one. Yeah, I see that. I've identified a bee inside of our glass jug that's larger than all the rest. I'm pretty sure that's the queen. I really hope this works, because if it doesn't, we're going to have a loose swarm of bees on my property that's just out of control and definitely not making any money. We've got to come up with a hive, and we've got to come up with a hive fast. Moving house is mighty stressful to bees. So the sooner they get to their new home, the better. We have them in a glass jar, and we need to get them out of that jar and get them into a, a regular hive as quickly as we can. I don't know if we ought to make a box or, you know, what you were thinking for that. Well, we just make it round, you know? Just make a round tube out of this. Honeybees want their hive to be big enough on the inside for the bees and their honeycomb, but with a small entrance that's easy to defend. We want to make it about 18 inches around, right? Yeah. Like, like I'll overlap it up. The new hive will be shaped like a cylinder and made of chicken wire and hay. The hay will fill the frame and be denser at the entrance to create a cavity within. Once that wire holds together, that'll make a good hive. The hay will also keep the bees cool and dry as they rebuild their honeycomb. All right, well, you want to grab that end? Sure. Spencer's land has some good real estate for honeybees. For their hive, they like a mix of sun and shade close to drinking water. Yeah, we set it right here. Right there on that little path. The boys made a nice home for the bees. Now the trick is to get them to go inside. Bees hate bright colors, especially white. And when you pour them out on this sheet, they should go right straight to this black hole right there. All righty, I think we're ready to get the bees, brother. Oh my gosh, dude. Be calm. Oh, come on, man. You got to give me a see, break. look at that, man. Look. Look at all them bees. Yeah, I see them, brother. Stick them on the ground. Let's encourage them to go up inside the hive. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. There is nothing more sinister than to have a thousand bees in your hands and feel them vibrate. I mean, it's almost, it's terrifying. The boys carefully shake the bees out on the sheet to get them started. Now's when we'll really be able to tell if the one that we thought was the queen is the queen. We just gotta pray that they get up in the right direction. They watch and wait for any movement. The longer these bees stay homeless, the more likely they are to swarm. These bees seem to be milling up into the hive a little bit slowly. We think we found the queen. Everything I've read suggests that bees will migrate into the hive immediately with the queen in there. So, I don't know. Something doesn't seem quite right. 